Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of variable types and weak typing in JavaScript. If you are new to programming or just starting out with JavaScript, this video will be perfect for you. First, let's talk about variable type. In JavaScript, variables can hold different types of values such as numbers, strings and boolean. These values are classified into two main categories, primitive values and object values. Primitive values are simplest types of values in JavaScript. Include boolean, null, undefined, numbers and strings. Object values, on other hand, are more complex and includes arrays and function and object as well. Now let's talk about weak typing. JavaScript is a weakly typed language, which means that variables are not directly associated with any particular value type. This means that a variable can hold a value of any type and it can be assigned or reassigned at any time during the program execution. For example, if we have variable that contains the number one, on let's say par equals two, equals two. If we can divide it by ten and get the result you're uh you're trying to divide so last it was one so one divided by 10 that is that's with 0 0.1 but if we later assign a string value to the same variable the result of a same division operation would be nan which means not a number it's important to keep in mind that javascript also dynamically type language which means that variable type can change over time during program execution this is in the contrast to statically type languages where variable types are fixed and cannot be changed once they are declared javascript is also a weakly typed language which means that it allows data type coercion data type coercion is the automatic conversion of a value of one data type to another for example if we try to add a string and a number in javascript it will automatically convert the number to a string and concatenate them this can lead to unexpected result and bugs in your code on the other hand Strongly typed language like Java and C hash don't allow data type coercion, which makes them more predictable and less prone to bugs. Let's see the same statement with the help of new number. This new number is a number constructor. When you pass the value A with the new constructor, you will get the result as not a number. Why? Because number constructor doesn't have the power to convert the alphanumeric value to a number. It will always fail to validate the alphanumerical number. JavaScript also has a few specific variables type that are worth mentioning. So we have one primitive values we already have seen, which have lowest representation. If we refer to value of these types of the primitive value, we have different types like boolean type uh, store true and false value only two, zero or one. Okay, number type which will consist of all all floating uh, and plus number, all whole number actually. Okay. So in JavaScript, all are actually uh, float number. You cannot uh, assume that this is a number. Means the number is a double precision 64 bit format. It's capable of storing positive floating point number between 2 to 1000 that number. So don't think that this B is a number. Always think about B is a floating number because in JavaScript, every number is a floating number. So it always consists like this to access that big int so which consists of more than number so you have to create by saying that big int is my variable name this p is in small case so we have we have not it doesn't have any new that like the constructor is not present in this so it's just like the object you can just use this big int and you will define it big int you know this should go you get a one and means it's a big int number. Understand different way how it is being written. So we have some huge number. This is huge number. How many we have? Yeah, was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, six. So think about yeah, you're writing your phone number with the uh, occurrence of control. Right. So that way you can store this big int and sometimes you can store also your into that value go ten by up. So when you execute one by one, you see you see op number, x number, and this is binding a number. So let's see the, this is what exactly the value is. All are same, but uh, all are same, but we are representing that value in different format. You understood this part. Finally, let's talk about strings. In JavaScript, strings are represented using 16 bits. 
and essentially a sequence of Unicode characters. Each character is assigned a unique ASCII code, which is then converted into binary code, stored in the variable. This means you can store a string value using a sequence of 1s and zeros. Operators in JavaScript are symbols that allows you to perform various operations on values on variable. They are key part of any programming language and essential for writing efficient and effective code. First, let's talk about arithmetic operator. These are most commonly used operators in JavaScript and are used for mathematical calculation. These are several arithmetic operators in JavaScript including addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. The modulus operator returns the remainder of the division operation. The assignment operator in JavaScript are used to assign values to variables. The most commonly used assignment operator are equals operator, the addition of assignment operator, the subtraction assignment operator, the multiplication assignment operator and the division assignment operator. Next we have comparison operators. These operators are used to compare two values and return a boolean value true or false based on comparison. We have another part in stands the object, the object is whatever the object means. These are object. This is also object, but what, what happens with number and boolean and the big uh, interest? Those doesn't have any constructor. Constructor has some concept what it means. You cannot define by writing new. You cannot write new in the beginning. This will be error. It also works, but uh, should not be. What's up, but number doesn't have any constructor. We create uh, instance of this constructor. So here in this example, it's a so there's a code somewhere in that and on what dot row which the bitwise operator in JavaScript are used to manipulate the bits of the band number. The most commonly used bitwise operator are and, of, and the XOR, the not and the left shift, and also the right shift operator. Let's understand a little bit of the XOR operator. Zero to zero is zero, and zero to one is also zero. And 1 to 0 is also 0, but 1 to 1 is 1. This is an operator. But just to do max is odd. So in XOR, when both are true, that means true. And when both are false, that also is true. And if either one, one of the other is true and false, or false or true, that will always be false. We have inclusive OR also, which is opposite of exclusive OR. Just like, which is true, that will be false. Hope you understood this fast. We did often remove a property from an object. What is property? Property value is an object and there is no more reference in the object. object. Yet, by that property, it's potentially at least correct. So, we are writing object we are declaring this is the way to declare inside the object we are going to add property so property can be anything any variable so let me name it named and my name Tindra so now what we are going to do is we are going to delete the property of that object delete object if you want to see console OBJ, this is the of so that we put over it. So, what we understood if you want to delete some property of that object, you use delete function. So, there you have it a brief overview of variable types and weak typing in JavaScript. Hopefully, this video has helped you understand these concepts a little better. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more programming videos.